Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Advanced 7, part of part 5 in module 1. We're going to write a function called is odd without modulo. Given a number is odd without modulo returns whether the past in number is odd. So it does so without using the modulo operator or modulus operator. Uh, it should work for negative numbers and 0. Okay, uh, so this might seem kind of daunting, but since we've already done the modulo problem, there's two things we want to keep in mind. One, we don't care about almost anything that the modulo uh, operator was doing in terms of those edge cases. I don't think that any of those are going to come up. Um, if they do, we can go back and check it out. Uh, but for our purposes, we essentially just need to get a working version of the modulo operator working in here and then check to see if the modulo uh, operator apply, that we're going to build applied to the input num is equal. Uh, wait, so the num we would apply the modulo operator that we're going to build to the num and with 2 as the other operand. And if the result of that is 1, we have an odd number. If it's not, then we have an even number. So hopefully that'll work out. Uh, first thing we want to do is get rid of 0 because we don't care about 0. If num is equal to 0, return false because 0 is not odd. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, get rid of any negative signs on num. So we're going to say num is equal to math.abs of num. So now we have a number, and we essentially need to do our modulo operator to it. But instead of num1 and num2, we're just going to be working with 2 as the second operator. So while num is greater than or equal to 2, num is equal to num minus 2. And this is the same thing that we built for the modulo operator in advanced 6, I think it was. And what's going to happen is, is that after a while, num is eventually going to be either 0 or 1. At which point, we can uh, organize the rest of our approach. So, if num is equal to 1, we want to return true. Else we want to return false. Now, the other modulo operator had a bunch of other things that were like, if either one of them is not a number, uh, if the second one is zero, um, the second one being zero doesn't apply for us. If num is not a number, uh, maybe we would return false. Uh, but let's, let's not worry about that until it, it shows that we have to. Um, so to reiterate, we're getting rid of an edge case where we say if num is equal to zero, just return false. Uh, then we're going to get rid of any negative signs on num, because if we're only worried about if it's odd or not, whether it's negative or positive makes zero difference to the final result. Then we're going to uh, subtract num, we're going to subtract 2 from num until num is less than 2, which we accomplish with this while loop, after which num is going to be equal to 1 or 0, and then if it's equal to 1, we return true because that means it's odd, otherwise we return false. So, fingers crossed, and we're in good shape. Excellent work, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.